Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Makita Gaming Channel, and no, your eyes are not deceiving you, we are not playing Star Trek Adversaries today. We're going to try a different game called The Room 3. This is the third game in a series of puzzle games made by Fireproof Studios. I really enjoy these games, they're probably the best kind of puzzle games I've played in a while. I started playing this one the other day, so we're going to continue where I left off, which is the second chapter. I'll explain a little bit about the game once we get in there. Okay, so like the name implies, we are in a big room. There are a lot of things to see in the room, and everything, almost everything, involves some sort of puzzle making or puzzle solving to progress to the next area. And the first thing we're going to want to do in any room is start seeing what all we have to work with because sometimes the toughest part is knowing where to start. First thing I want to do is go to that back corner of the room because there's a note. Oh, first we have dialogue. What is this place? Well, who knows? It's a room. So let's open this note. So there's a little bit of story here. I don't remember exactly how the plot unfolds from the first two games. But in this one, we are seeking a guy known as the Craftsman. He believes that we have some sort of ability that he can use to find a mystical realm called the Null. So let's read his note. The pyre has not cast its light in many a year. Ships need no beacon to warn them off this place. Travelers such as ourselves, however, require such things to find our path, a light in the black. The way ahead is dark, a darkness even the blind can see. Signed, The Craftsman. Okay. So let's see. So we have a big table in the center of the room here. Can I click on this? It looks like something is missing. Okay. So I guess at least part of the goal is to find something that goes here in the center of this board. The table itself kind of looks like a topographical map, maybe of an island. Can I see what's over here? There's a big hole. Can't bring anything up. Oftentimes you'll need to either flip switches or turn dials. Let's see what else we got. What's around the table? Can I look? There's usually something along the side. Hmm. Ooh, there is something right here. This looks like a lock. Yes. Can I slide this? I can. Open this. Now again, I don't know if I'll actually be able to get far with this, but this is at least a starting point. Take this item out. We have a wooden gear. Now we have our inventory over on the left. And it's usually a good idea to inspect the items when you pick them up, because there may be something you can do with them. Like sometimes you may find a box then you have to open the box to get something else. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So the wooden gear looks like it fits in the middle of this board. Okay, can I turn this? I can. How much am I supposed to turn it? Hmm. Oh, so it's like a crank. Okay. We notice the spires on the end keep extending, so we'll just keep cranking. Well, look at that. So it raised... It raised up the table. And we kind of have, like, a little miniature of the island now. Okay, so that's useful. 
Now, is there more I can do? Can I zoom in? I can. So this looks like a like a mill house or something. We've got like a water wheel. Ha! There's something strange about that doorway. Gee, I wonder what that might be. Oh, thanks. The tutorial's helping me out. Click to wear the eyepiece. So, in the first level, you get an eyepiece that allows you to see things beyond the normal. So if I click on this, I double click the doorway to enter. Okay, thanks. So now we've got like a puzzle within a puzzle here. So what do we got? We got something on the table. Looks like there's a gem here. Can I take the gem? No, I cannot. What's this? Looks like a... Okay, this looks like a snake. It is. There's a green gem on this side. So I'm guessing we need to do something to make this move, maybe? Can I do something with that tail? No. Okay. Gotta be something else. Let's check over here. Well, maybe not. I already looked there. Well, let's bring the eyepiece up again. We might see something. Hmm. What about that door over there? Can I click on that? No. How about the shelves? Is there anything I can click on? It's also possible that I got to this a little early and that I can't do anything yet. I'm going to go with that for right now. We'll come back in here in a second. I'm going to zoom out because I know there's more into this room than just that. Let's see what else I have. What's this down here? Hmm. Looks like... I think this would rotate if I had something to place in the socket. I agree. Alright, so we'll have to come back to that. What about this over here? This also looks like something that can rotate. I don't suppose there's any clue here. No. Hmm. That may reveal itself later. I feel like this needs to get raised up somehow. That'll probably also reveal itself later. Okay. Well, there's definitely more to do in this room. I want to see what's on this back table. So, looks like we, whoop, there's a, the name of this tower will reveal the way. Uh, he called it the pyre from the note that we read. So, now let's see, wonder if I can just change the letters? Maybe? Ah, I see. Okay, so I don't want that then. What I want then is this. There we go. So that's a P. Now for the second letter, we want the Y. Oh, but the Y is over there. How can I do that? Maybe it's not the pyre. Then maybe it is. Ha! Okay, so we use... You've got to just point in the general direction. Whatever, these, whatever the switches converge on, 
is how you spell the letter out. Okay. So, the third letter is R, which is over here. So we're going to go down here, and this has to point up. And then this would be E. So this points down, and this points up. Aha! We have a carved wooden arch. Okay. So it looks like that's got to go somewhere. Is there anything else I can look at over here? A lot of books. I don't suppose I can see what's out the window, can I? No. Okay, so the arch has to go somewhere. But where? Ooh. I wonder if... I think something is missing here. Yeah. That's probably a safe bet. Hmm. So the arch goes somewhere on this board. The question is where? zoom out a bit. Oh wait, hang on. Aha, two holes. I think it fits right here. Yes. Now can I pull this up? Nope, we turn it. Okay. Oh, we've got another doorway. Well, let's go in here. Let's see. So we've got some columns. This column has a has some dots on it. Ooh. Uh got some strange symbols there. Can I turn that off? No. And another strange symbol. And I have no idea what that means. What's this? Oh. So by clicking and holding down, I can actually fill this in. Uh, that didn't do anything. I wonder then if I'm supposed to... I wonder if I'm supposed to make the design that appears there. Okay, so let's go back and check this out. So that circle seems to fit with the circle here, so like that's the starting point. So if I start there, go straight down, and then make a diamond, I'll replicate that symbol. So let's try that. So if I start here, go straight down, and make a diamond. Ah! So part of the ring is now filled with runes. You can see the glow from the line. Okay. So we're on the right track then. Okay. Let's check this out. Same thing. We got a ring. And now this looks like... So there's your starting point. So we go down and to the left, straight across, and make a triangle. Okay. So, down and to the left, straight across, make a triangle. There's another part of the ring filled in. Okay. One more. Ah, oh, it's an hourglass. That's easy. So here's your starting point. And however you want to make your hourglass. I don't suppose there's a rule about the lines not touching. Okay, the ring is complete. And 
now look what we got. What even is this? Ooh, looks like a drawer. Can I pull this open? I can. And I have a model clock face. So that would probably go on a clock tower. Wonder what the symbols, if that means anything. I've got a little squiggly line and a that a angled thing. Hmm. We may need to make a note of that. That may be important later. What? Oh, ooh, what's this up here? I must need a special kind of key for this door. Sure looks like it. Got a tree on the background, too. What's this? Ooh, boy. Oh, so that's a button in the middle that rotates the item. I pull this? Oh! Oh, look! So there are letters hidden on the little glowy green spots. Okay, so we need to line this up then. Ah! So it's not that we're pushing this out. I need to pull this in to make a compass face. Okay. Pull this in. I have got north. Pull this in. There's east, south, and west. Ha! Opens. We have a wooden model piece. Let's check that out. Hmm. Can I do anything with this? Is it just a big square? Oh, it's got two holes on the bottom, so it fits into something that way. Okay. What else can I do here? Anything? No. Ooh. More symbols. Um, got a swirly line down here and a sideways something or other. What is this? Ah! Here's your symbols. Okay, so these uh, these do matter. Is this like a star chart? Kind of looks like constellations. Okay, so if I go back here... So what's this? Let's just call this the sideways triangle. And then that's a swirly. Now if I go back here... There's your swirly. And there's your sideways triangle. Can I move this? Hmm. That must be used to check something. Ah, here we go. Okay. What's in there? Uh, well, it looks like a person. Right? See the person in there? But I don't know what else to do with that. Where was that other... Where was that other symbol? I think that was on the table. Oh, no, here it is. So this is... Call that an S... And then that's the sideways A with a dot on it. Okay, so here's your S. And there's your sideways A. What does this do? Doesn't point to anything. 
I may have to figure that out later. That may reveal itself. Speaking of which, here's another glowy green spot. Ah! So what do we do with this? A cross-shaped socket. Something must belong here. Hmm. So I have to put something in here and then maybe we can slide these, because this looks like a track. We will probably slide these around. Okay. Sounds to me like we have to come back here. Well, let's find out where we can place this block. It looks like it fits here. Okay. Is this a little slidey thing? It looks like something is supposed to go in this cradle. Great. I don't, it's not going to be that clock face. Alright. Can I see what's over here? What's that? Can I open that? Doesn't look like it. Is there anything I can do to interact with that? No. Alright, so that clock face, there's a clock tower right here. Yeah, that has got to be a clock tower. Ha! Okay. Great. Now, who knows what time it is? Anybody? Anybody know what time it is? Oh, it may not matter. So, let's see what's in here. We got an owl. Among other things, probably. Uh, and, oh. Okay. So, popped the owl. Oh, I can screw, I can unscrew this. What's this do? Ah, we got a model boat. We're on a boat. Is there anything else in here I can do? Or was that literally it? Is that all we're here for? Looks like that's all we're here for. So where does the boat go? The boat would go in the cradle. Okay, now can I move the boat? I can. Oh man, got a lot of these. It's a mouse. It's a mouse. There's a mouse in the boathouse. Well, this looks like an obvious button to push. Alright, his face opens up. Oh, we have a dial. Okay, so we want to pull the ears out. Alright. There's an eye. There's another eye. Slide that out. What's that? A key. What kind of key? Looks like it's got a odd handle. Hmm. Well, after seeing both of those, I want to go back and see that snake that was in the other place we went. So let's go back to the boathouse, or the mill house over here. Oh, 
Okay. So there must be something I can do with this snake. Yeah, there's a little button on top of his head. Oh wait, there's gotta be a way to mess with this. Ah! So clicking on the rattle of the tail or pulling it out looks like opened it up. Can I rotate these? I can. Ah, we need to line up the gems. Okay. Okay, he sticks his tongue out. Can I pull on his tongue? Can I... Oh, wait. Can I do this? Push the button. A magnet. We found a magnet. Does the magnet... Ah, and the magnet has a cross-shaped bottom. All right, you know where we're going. We're going back to the columns. Back over here. See what I mean? There's a lot that goes into these levels. Okay, come back here. Is this still lined up? Yes, it is. So let's put the magnet. So the magnet is pushing the dots away. Can I take the... Oh, there must be a second magnet. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so what's going to happen then? Now I understand it. So let me explain. We go back here. So when we put these coordinates in, based on the symbols we saw, see where these dots are? That's what we need. We need to line up these dots to match how it looks on this grid. But we'll need two magnets to do that. Right now we only have one. So the question then is, where does this key go? What's this? Aha! We got something. A sphere suspended in a cradle. Okay. Said it. Oh, we can move it. Ah, what's this? Does that fit on top of something? I think it does. Okay. Yeah, probably fits right here. It does not. Well, that was worth a try. Hmm. Does it go? It's got to go on something. Oh. Well, now here's a thought. I was rotating it up and down. Maybe I can rotate it side to side. There we go. We can spin it. Oh, that's actually a good idea. And there's the other magnet. Okay. Good. Well, now we know what to do. Okay. back here, put the magnet on. Now, what we need to do, so since we already have this one set up, let's just do this right away. So we have, what do we have? So I wonder if there's supposed to be a dot in the center here, a dot to the right there, a dot to the left there, but that's only three dots. It's like that doesn't tell me anything. Well, let's give it a look. Okay. Yeah, 
let's see. So now what's going to happen is the magnets are going to push on the stones in different ways. So when they're both in the same position, the stone is in the center. If this stone comes over like this, now that's pushing all the way to the right, this is pushing all the way to the left. Okay. So it's almost like, oh boy. So how are we going to, because every time we move the magnets, it's going to move the stones. Mm. And what did I say this had to look like? Take that off for a second. What does this look like? Nothing up top. At least it doesn't look like anything up top. One to the left, one to the right, one in the middle. So one in the middle down, down at the very bottom, one to the right, one to the left. Can we do that? Let's try it. Okay. Well, we did that and nothing happened. But that's also, like I said, there should be we should be using all four of those stones, not just three of them. So maybe that's not the right one. What was the other one? The swirly and the cross. So if we zoom in here, aha. Now this tells us something. So we need one to the left. So from bottom up, it's left, right, right, middle. Okay, let's give that a try. What I say, left, right, right, middle. Ah, shoot. There. Oh, but that only opened one of them. Got to open that top lock. Ah, okay, maybe I need to go back and check that one again then. If we look at the S and this. What do I see? Am I, am I sure I'm looking at the right thing? Let's go back. We did that. We saw that one. Yeah, the S and the A. That's definitely the other one. Okay. So go back. Am I sure I'm looking at the right symbol? No. That's the problem. I was looking at the wrong S shape. There's your S shape. Oh, well, that's much better. Okay, so from bottom up, it's right, left, right, middle. So from bottom up, right, left, right, middle. Let's go back. So what do you say? From bottom up, right, left, right, middle. Hold on. Right, left, right, middle. There we go. And we open the door, and look at that. We got a wooden model piece. Okay. Back out of here. And over here, and we put the model piece there. And we're making the floor rise. Or 
first deep sea diver helmet there. That's cool. Uh, okay. All right. So now we're in a new part of the building. Well, let's check out that deep sea diver helmet. Anything I can check out here? Can I open this? Is there a way to open that? Like maybe it's got to get unscrewed or something? Or well, got to be something I can do with that. All right, we'll have to figure that out later. What else do we have? Oop, there's a hatch on the side. Pull that. A new note. Okay. The rocks of this island have always had a taste for blood. This tenacious aqu aquanaut thought his science would be proof against them. I hope his curiosity into my affairs is now satisfied. What, did the guy, like, jump out the window? Did he kill him? We got a deer antler. Okay. Also, I like how there's steam coming out the back of this guy's helmet. Uh, okay. Now what do we do with deer antler? What do we do with anything? Looks like that has to get rotated somehow. What's this over here? Where do we put the deer antler? Whoop. Can I do something with this? No. Let's check the rest of the room, make sure there's nothing else here. I don't s uh. Nope, that's nothing. Okay, well, I guess this is it then. I think some sort of handle should go here. Uh, well... I don't have one yet. Anything I can do. Oh. Can I rotate this? I can. Huh. What do we got here? A mushroom? Oh, it's a brass rivet. Okay. And we got symbols. Uh, one looks like a sideways S with uh, quotation marks around it. One is a pattern of diamonds in a cross, and then one looks like a bunch of arches. Okay. Well. Let's see. First thing I want to do is figure out where I can put that rivet. Looks like up here. There's a gouge. There's a rivet missing here. Haha. -ha. Well, fortunately, I just happened to find a rivet. Now, can I move this? I can. Open that up. Oh. Now, look at that. That's where we're going to need those symbols. What's this? A metal acorn. Just what I've always wanted. Oh, and there's a switch. Well, let's flip it. A wooden model piece. Aha. Okay, we'll get back to that. We'll, we'll use that in a minute. I know where that goes. But I'm still looking around here. I want to see. 
Then again, I might not be able to rotate anything yet. Yeah, it's a barometer, but there's no pointer. Yeah, we need the pointer. I don't suppose I can use the metal acorn for that. Okay. I think we'll be coming back there, so let's use this wooden model piece. What is this? Ah, this rotates. Okay. What do we need it to line up with? Looks like here. And we're going in. It's a grasshopper. Alright, let's check out the grasshopper. We could probably do something with the legs first. Yep. There's a button. Pull that lever. Slide the face out. What's that? A metal pointer. Okay. So, back to the diver helmet. Let's put that pointer on. Now. Ooh. What a ah, so we use this crank to adjust to the symbols. Okay, so remember, in order we had the S with the quotation marks, then the diamond pattern, and then the bumps. So let's... How do I... Uh, okay, so I got a... Is there an easier way to do this? There we go. Alright, so there's one. Oop. Two. Three. And we get... What's that? A copper tap. And the copper tap has a triangle-shaped hole which I believe fits down here. Uh, okay. I guess I gotta slide these. Yeah, okay. Whoops. Oh boy. Guess we gotta. How do we open this? There we go. Ha! Can I open this? Okay, I gotta unscrew this. Oh, look out! There's a face. Fancy seeing you here. We now have a crystal file. What in the heck am I going to do with that? Okay, so we have now collected a mishmash of items. Between this key, this antler, a metal acorn, and a crystal file. What in the heck? are we going to do now? Well, is there more? There's got to be more here that we haven't done. Well, there is. I need to figure out that key. That strange key. Yeah, see, we still need to do something with this. I don't suppose the antler works, no. 
Is it me or is there like a hole on top that something can go into? Hmm. I should take a closer look at that bronze acorn I found. Oh, really? Oh, you son of a gun. Look at that. Look at that, and there's the key. Oh, okay. Okay, put the acorn in. Now we got something going. I guess we just turned this. It's a deer. Missing an antler. Oh, do I get to rotate the antlers? I do. Does it have to match? Oh, what in the heck? Yeah, it's got to be symmetric. Right. Okay. There we go. Well, I'll bet that's where the crystal file goes. Uh, well, gee, that's kind of morbid. We found a glowing gemstone. Okay. So I have a gemstone. I have a key that I still don't know what to do with. Where would the gemstone go? Is there anything else here that we haven't done yet? Oh yeah! How about that? This is where the key goes. And we're going in there. Ooh. Oh, geez. It's... It's the table within the table. Is that a guy's hand? Can I pick up any of this? Is that like a little... Wispy? Okay. There's a crank. Gotta turn the crank. Ah, okay. So the crank, that crank, moves this guy's hand. Oh my goodness. Really? I gotta go in further? Wow. Oh, jeez. Now, does this crank move this hand? Whoop. No, that moves his leg. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow, we're really going deep now. Now, this one's got to move the guy's hand. It does. Okay. Zooming way out. Ah, and now we've got a bigger piece on the main table. How about that? And it looks like something is supposed to go inside here, like maybe a glowing gemstone. Now, do I rotate this? 
Oh, no, I take it. It's a lamp. Okay, so now we're on top of the tower. Yeah, so we gotta do something with this. Hmm. So I guess, I'm gonna guess that the lamp goes in there somehow, but we probably have to rotate this in such a way that we can put it in. these ah okay so I rotate the wheel and that then allows me to do what though like okay yeah I can do that but why Ah, interesting. So then when I clamp them down, I can rotate this further. But still begs the question, why? There's something inside that I don't know about. What's it? Let me check this out. Clue in here that sort of tells me what I should do. No. But so there's some combination of moving these around. Oh, here's a thought. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, so what if, yeah, this is open. So what if I clamp the bottom and then rotate? Now only the bottom is moving. And if I keep rotating until now, that's totally open. And I put the lamp in there. Ha! Ah, there we go. Self a piece of the Triforce. Whoa, what was that? Chapter complete. Scaling the lighthouse was quite the feat. Though its beam may illuminate troubles to come, they remain yours to shoulder. All right, that's the end of chapter two. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. So we've now done two chapters of... Well, th I've done two chapters of The Room 3. You've just seen me do one of them. So let me know what you guys think about this. Trying something different here. Trying a puzzle game. Taking a break from Star Trek Adversaries. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Let me know what you think. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.